What's up guys, welcome back to another episode where today we'll be checking out Discover My Body. Now I'll be honest, I don't know what this game's about. In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. Right. Distrusting previous intuitions that supposedly brought people together in common lonely people, in common lonely people look to technology and science for answers. Uh, one such new technology is a psychically powerful lab synthesized fungi. You, a medical student at the local university, have been brought in to study its... Okay. Oh, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. Right, why, why, why can I choose when to skip this speech, but I can't choose when to... It was very... Like, I, I was just talking normally, I didn't even get a chance to read the frickin' end. Sorry, guys. I hear you... Re quite bright. Right, okay. Have you ever studied a psych psychical trans bull flowering before? I see, well you're in for quite a treat. I have assisted with many flowerings before. However, this is my first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neutron coronal scanner. Or coronal scanner, I should say. You'll be able to view my transformation. Oh, okay, so it hasn't got the little comma. There's maybe I reread the other bit um, incorrect because I didn't realize that it's missing uh, punctuation. And it's various effects on my bodily system. Just navigate the icon over my body. Okay. And scan for info points to click on. My brain's, oh, why has it got grammar there? Whatever. My brain's broker area has been linked to a digital readout. So even when I'm at the point where I am, beyond human speech, I'll be able to communicate, okay? Well, please begin your examination. Righty-o. Okay, what's topical? Skeletal. Oh, God, look at that. That's changed. That's cool. Right, nervous. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so you see the brain and everything. That's really cool. I, th uh, I don't know if there's like a knack to this or if I'm literally just wiggling it or if I just kind of Ooh. misinterpreted what I was supposed to do a minute ago, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like um one of those... um games what is it in a loan catchphrase where you you um oh what is it you get a bit right and it reveals part of the puzzle if you ever watch catchphrase you'll know exactly what i mean i presume i'm doing this right just scanning bits of him as it moves around okay so i'm i, I think i moved it but i'm not sure Okay, can I go up there? Okay, 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 I see. I was just being a bit dim with it. No, I got there in the end. Let's go over here. To his belly. To his belly. Is he, like, giving me the finger there? Because it looks like it. Let's be honest. Let's go up there and scan that bit. Oh, okay. Aha! You've discovered the primordial inhabitor. Right here. This is a device implanted in my brainstem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operations like this. It limits bodily and mental reactivity to meta existential stimuli. In not too many words, the flowering is an evolutionary ab aberration. One which requires some retooling of our formation of mental conceptions. For instance, one who has flowered does not experience the human idea of time. But if I tried and apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. But anyway, please go on, discover, explore, I shall explore more, radio. Why are we going down there? I don't want to go down. Oh, fine, we're going all the way down there. I didn't want that. I was trying to t uh, press skeletal, but... Hey, freaking ho. Oh, we've got some... Yeah. Ah, you've discovered my rotting bones. Yes, the rotter setting, certainly. It itches like the devil. But soft bones are required for the PTB to do its work. The human body was never intended to experience a flowering. In the process, one is contorted psychically and physically. 
Okay. Soft rotten bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Again, though, very painful stuff. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool. This should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? I see. Well, please continue. Righty freaking o. What's this down here? There's like a face. Ah, you've discovered the injection site. It looks like a face. Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone deep needle to my right shin. It hurt like hell. However, what he injected was worth its weight in gold. It was a skin graft of a successful PTB flowering. Oh, so it's a skin graft of a face. What's that? It kind of looks like a face. Yes, it looks like a freaking face. Well, the PTB organism is a physical, sorry, psychical organism. Its physical manifestation draws from a shared pool of always denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that's my mother's face on my shin. I presume she had passed away or did you do that to her to then get her face? Oh, how I miss her. Right. But enough about me. Please continue the examination. I don't know why, but looking at this guy's face, it really reminds me of a book cover called 100% Match, which is really creepy. But yeah, the visuals are quite un unsettling, if I'm brutally honest. Aha. According to the concentration of the PTB in my blood, I will begin the flowering process. Okay, so this is his blood then. Um, and it's obviously all the way to the top. Oh, okay. He's dead screaming. Let's have a listen then, I guess. Quick, give me a wallet to bite down on. Wallet? No, I don't want you to destroy my wallet. That didn't really do much to stop you screaming, did it? Oh, look at him. He's got no manky. Okay, there's more to discover, I guess, now. Wow, that hurt. Sorry, I seem to have bit down too hard and broken a couple teeth. Give me a moment to spit them out. What, you're just swirling around your mouth while you're talking to me? Now then, as you can see by my face, I am midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! It's like something out of frickin' The Last of Us. I can feel the ink inkling of a pan psychic connection and my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth see for yourself do you do i really have to oh we found one aha you've discovered that my hands have fallen off i haven't quite but i'll take your word for it well i suppose i'll never play the violin again haha <laughs> joking aside this is pretty much to be expected part of the primordial inhabitor is to dissociate brain and hand connectedness as a result of this the hands fall off rightio to use your feet instead as they're merely vestigial vestigial baggage stands in the way of a superior evolution i'm sorry just briefly had a bit of an ego death there for a moment I can feel my thoughts entwine in the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue, if I must. So we're going to obviously have to find some of these other areas. So we'll do each of them now, I guess. Aha! You've discovered my bone growths. Several growths, apparently. As I was saying about the tr uh, dramatic changes a PDB flowering incurs, well, now at bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake mm, sponge cake but look closer my bone fragments have begun to reassemble into a complicated if fragile lattice work okay of wafer thin psychic receptors some of the bones are poking out of my skin i knew that i felt it <laughs> okay please go on yes let's do your nervous system now i think down here i don't know why we might not be down here. Might be up here. Oh, okay, fair enough. Aha! You've discovered my new minds. Oh, you've got several, have you? To the extent that the brain is a mind, that is. We'll leave that to the philosophers. As my own mind brain disintegrates into the group mind, 
what remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flower and mind brains. So it, I kind of get the impression of like a hive mind kind of thing. As we speak, I am flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourselves from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasure as well as infinite pain. Is this what death is? Aha, I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Infinite pl pl pain. Okay, death. I am so happy. I am happy that you are happy. I think that was that. Okay guys, so that was Discover My Body. I'll be honest, it was a very strange but interesting game. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting and I guess you could say it was more body kind of horror than your typical gore and jump scares horror. But I do have to say, I did actually enjoy it. So that is it for today guys, but if you enjoyed the video then do let me know by clicking that like button. And if you like to see more then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.